Hello friends, my name is Alea of Cozy Crochet Co. where I show you how to crochet the cozy way. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about crochet box. You may have seen them on social media, um, but they reached out to me and they wanted to send me this box. And today I'm going to be showing you what's inside and we're going to be doing some crochet today as well. So if you're interested in crochet and yarn content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also like this video and comment down below your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. The link is going to be down below. All right, so with all of that out the way, let's get started with the video. So the crochet box is a crochet kit. And if you look at the back, it shows you everything that comes inside of your box. You get an ergonomic hook, pre-started first round, which is, I'm going to talk about why <laughs> that's so helpful. Step-by-step -step videos, safety eyes, custom beginner yarn, sturdy sewing needle, spare yarn and cotton, and a printed and PDF tutorial. Um, so you'll find instructions with a password inside the crochet box. If you're a beginner, you can scan the QR code for beginner basket tutorials. If you have some experience with crochet with our kit, scan the QR code for the crochet kit tutorial if you're on the computer you can go to the website and then there's a password it's so it's password protected so you have to buy the box to get the password for uh, the tutorials and follow the step-by-step -step video tutorials and start crocheting enjoy your learning journey <laughs> uh, the sense of achievement that comes with gradually building up your skills is the best part and I think this is a wonderful kit a wonderful kit for anybody who is wanting to learn how to crochet especially amigurumi because this is mainly what they do is amigurumi i think this something like this is super fun and super cool so let's go ahead and open up the box so you have i see oh and this is like that t-shirt yarn so we have soft smooth yarn and then we have green, pink, tan. Um, we have like this light blue and we have yellow. And then we have a crochet hook. This is a 3.5 millimeter and um, this is not any particular brand. Um, I think you can get I think I have this same set of hooks. It's like a generic set of crochet ergonomic hooks with the squishy handle. And then you have your fluff. Isn't that cute? Oh. And then a gel packet. We don't need that. And then you have a little envelope with your... Uh, actually, there's two needles in here. You have like a metal darning needle and a plastic darning needle some black thread and then your safety eyes cute okay and then you have your instructions so this is actually going to be the amigurumi that we're going to be doing now i'm going to be honest <laughs> amigurumi is not my strong suit however i do know how to make an amigurumi i just don't do it often so I can't show you what's in this packet because this is the actual pattern and it has a password to the videos and all that good stuff uh, but it does have a booklet that says basic stitch instructions so let's see what's in there oh okay so this is really helpful it does have like pictures of stitches different types of stitches step by step okay that's really cool shows you how to do like slip stitch half double crochet double crochet single crochet these are all in u.s terms invisible decrease all that good stuff okay and also shows you how to close the ball and undo stitches which i don't see in my opinion i don't see a lot in booklets like these so that's really helpful oh okay so i was <laughs> confused at first i was like well where is my started because it does say that it's already been started for you so here it is your first so they did the magic knot for you and they did the first literally the first like um row for you okay that's very helpful because a lot of beginners really struggle with the magic knot so the fact that i literally keep, could start from this point and keep going is really exciting with that being said um i do know that these are going to take me a little bit so i'll be back <laughs> whenever 
I finished at least like the main body part. So in this video, I will let you know if these instructions are beginner friendly. I'm going to pretend like I'm a beginner. <laughs> and so I'm going to let you know if these, if these are beginner friendly and if it was easy to understand and follow the directions that's in this packet. All right. So I will be back when I finish. <laughs> All right, it's the next day. I'm back and it's finished. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. I had so much fun doing this last night. Okay, so I finished this. Uh, it took me about maybe six hours just because I was doing other stuff in between. But I had so much fun fun making this oh my goodness and it's so cute you may hear like a little rattle because I put rattles in here I like to put rattles in my outer room I think it just makes it so much more cuter um you person you don't get rattles with this box but I do think that should be like an add-on I think that'd be such a good idea um but yes look at how cute it is now I'm not the best amigurumi uh amigurumi crocheter um, by any means but this was really fun to make and really easy so definitely a beginner project so going into the actual review of this product I do think this is a really good product for beginners people who want to learn how to crochet and learning different techniques um, I learned well I already knew most of the techniques but how to make the flowers and stuff like that was something new to me um, I did use the pattern that was in this booklet I will say this everything like the instructions perfectly perfectly made wonderful pictures for the instructions um, and the instructions in this booklet was also very clear and concise the pattern itself so how to construct the amigurumi I feel like could have been a little bit you had so for example this is literally my only gripe about this I'm gonna cover up a little bit of it but see those words that's the that's the pattern and then you have all of this space on the same sheet to it is just blank you know so much page so much of this page could have been used to put more detailed if it's going to be a for, for a beginner i think there should be more detailed pattern instructions because i'm not gonna lie i had to go to the video <laughs> um so i did go on their website to so like the body part was easy for me and where to put the eyes made sense then like the uh parts that i had to sew on so like the mouth the horns the the ears the hair the flowers and the leaf I didn't really understand based off of the pattern alone so I did have to go on their website and I had to look at the video the video perfect I understood it 100% and I had no problem um, because it was a really good video very clear and I was able to finish this with no problem using the video so the fact that they had both the um, pattern and the video at your disposal was really nice however if you're one of those people i don't know about you but sometimes when i go on like vacation and i want to unplug so like no phones no computers no ipad no nothing i will just bring my crochet project and i will print out a pattern like if i came up to the point where i didn't really understand what the pattern was going for and the vision just wasn't coming to fruition i would have to rely on that video for me personally heavily because the the pattern alone really didn't make sense to me it was i felt like it was written in shorthand so some people could understand it and like a beginner definitely probably wouldn't have understood how how to do the like um the accessories i guess you could say for for this project so that's that's literally my only thing is if you were like somewhere where you did not have wi-fi at all it probably would be a little bit difficult i mean you could probably look at the picture and kind of figure it out but if you're a beginner and you don't have that skill yet um trying to figure out how to do some of these parts was a little bit a little bit off it could have it could have been better could have been tweaked a little bit better but other than that you have a video a very clear concise video that will help you through the rest of the project so I, that's the only thing let's talk about the yarn really quick because I really like this yarn I don't know where I can get this yarn somebody maybe tell me let's see if I can get a piece of it but 
this yarn is like a tubing yarn like this is super soft I feel like it it's probably is made out of some synthetic fiber but like the inside of it is like has like this filling and it's just so soft and it makes the project look very nice and clean because it, I don't know if you know this but like some acrylic yarns especially if you're doing amigurumi it just looks like fuzzy for no reason and not on purpose um and so what some people do is like they take a lighter and they like singe off the hairs um don't do that <laughs> you're gonna burn your project uh use a heat gun which is what i used um but with this yarn you don't have that problem and it just looks so nice and clean and professional um i would definitely give this to somebody as a gift right this is so cute um but yeah the, you had plenty of yarn for this project um i never felt like i was playing yarn chicken at all which is great especially if this is the only thing that you pack in your bag if you're traveling or going on vacation um you had everything you had your darning needle the only thing that was missing that's another thing if this was like a complete set the only thing you're missing is scissors that's it i don't think there were scissors in here let me look the box yeah no scissors in here but that's the only thing that you're missing in this box is like you can get one of those like cheap little shears that would be nice to add in this box um that could be like maybe an add-on that you do or something but you had everything stitch markers darning needle you had the crochet hook the crochet hook is basic crochet hook you know i'm glad that it wasn't like a full aluminum crochet hook it does have a comfort grip so it was nice and my hand was comfortable while making this project. You had so much stuffing left that you literally could make another amigurumi. <laughs> so this project was really fun, really nice. If I was to rate it 1 out of 10, um, I would probably give it like a 8.3 just because some of the pattern instructions were not clear and there could have been some scissors, right? If this could have been an all-inclusive box. You could have put some scissors in here, but other than that, I really, really like this project. Um, so I will link this down below. This is just really nice. <laughs> I, I feel like there's nothing else I can say about this, but they have, oh, if you go on their website, they have even cuter ones than this, like stuff for the holidays. Oh my goodness, so adorable. So I would highly recommend at least checking them out, crochetbox.net. I'll link it down below in the description. This is a really good gift idea. If you have a crochet in your life um, and you wanted to get them something fun and exciting or cute that they can do, I think that would be really cool. Or something for your kids to work on over the weekend or something. It will be really cute. So I'm going to link that down below for you guys. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you have a wonderful day and as always, create something gorgeous like this guy. Bye-bye. <laughs>